I am. This is the uh, Monster. Let's see if you can see that. Monster 1080p action cam. Yeah, this is my new camera that I've got. Um, that's where the uh, HDMI goes on the side here. Or on the right is the normal like phone one that you see pretty standard until that the newest one came out that the lightning one came out but on top of that the top slot right there is for the miniature deal like this um, has a miniature inside of it this one comes with it so you put the teeth towards you like that and then you pop it in You snap it onto your finger and it, ah, shoot. And as you see, it's a 32 gig, and I can't do it with one hand, so. Okay, now it's in this, it's in there now. The little card, and it comes with that. And the whole camera actually comes with a lot of different devices, is the reason why I went with this one. Is because, like this suction cup right here is actually one of the best suction cups I've ever used. I've got one of those other ones that clamps for your phone and whatnot, and it's pretty good. Um, the one at work is okay for the GPS, but the thing is, this one right here, it's like it literally just works like you would want anything to work. It's super cool, but it comes with tons of attachments, and one that clamps on a pole and whatnot. Now the audio on this thing, maybe that's just how they all are. I thought it wasn't that great when it came to recording music or something like that, compared to my regular H, uh, my DSLR camera, which is really, really nice. But this one, just long playing, that 32 gig little piece in there. Um, it's Monster, which is also really famous for making super good cables, like um, HDMI cables going into your TV and whatnot. And also cables for music, like uh, guitar cables and, and whatnot. They make a lot of super nice gear, lifetime guarantee. So I was excited to get this. They didn't have any GoPros at the store that I was at, and I was like, I want to get it now. And that looked like the best thing, but the, the point that it came with all the attachments and everything, so you pretty much have all the stuff that you're going to need with it anyway, and the waterproofing one as well, and uh, this guy. So I got it for like $100. The guy was just, I don't know what, he had like a special at the store, and he just gave it to me for that much. I think it was like 125 but um, that was when it first came out. I don't know if it's going to cost more now or not, maybe around $200, but... Um, you set the thing up right in my car, it actually looks really good. Sometimes it just doesn't look that great, but it's really good for putting on your glass, and so it's very steady. It doesn't rattle at all. I mean, there's a lot of ways to steady the camera because it's a square, and it just sits like a cube. And if it's sitting on something that's not rattly, it'll do well, but this thing is just like, no worries. You undo it really quick off the glass and look at it to make sure it's rolling, stick it on the glass, and you're good, and it will work every time it doesn't seem to ever fall off so um that's the gopro review i mean the monster review excuse me 1080p and you've seen some of the videos like this where you can tell the sound sounds different than the phone i'm this is the iphone i'm recording with which has got a super nice camera too and it just automatically focuses like this the monster does as well it's called a villain that's what that v stands for the monster villain um action cam so anyways um, I was really impressed with this suction cup because that's the best one I've ever had it just works so well even without this device that switches down <clears throat> you snap it down to make it super tight but even without that it just you just stick it on there and it just holds and then you snap it down and it's it's really not gonna go anywhere so so far that's the best suction cup I've ever seen but camera is really nice the picture looks great if you set up right and um, <clears throat> The buttons and everything are the options are pretty easy to follow it's basically just turn it on on this mode one it turns on and then you can start recording if you have it set in the right spot just for instant recording and then just stop it and then the buttons will, the lights will light up again on the back and then you push it again the ok button again and it'll stop the recording and just turn it off that's all i do i have it set like that on the regular video and not the car one. If you do it on car, it actually flips upside down so you can have the camera sit like this and have it record you and it'll record correctly. So there's just a, lot, a few different options with this guy and for its purpose I think it's pretty cool. So that's the Villain Monster 
um, action cam review. I think it's pretty cool.